Eli, you guys as an offensive lineman, as a unit, plus Cole as the tight end, kind of uh, in my estimation or what holds this offense together, but you don't get a whole lot of credit because we talk about the guys that are behind you. Coach says this is something unique for you guys because you're so good at it. What do you think makes you guys so good that you don't get all the credit, but you're doing the job? I think that we work on communication really hard up front. I mean, Every every single play, I, I ask my other tackle, what do you do on this play? I ask my guards, what do you do? What, what does my center do? Cole, do we down block? And we always, like, if we're, if we're combo blocking, we tell each other. We always got to talk, always work on communication. I mean, and we don't get the credit, but our our running backs give us credit and I mean that's about all we need so communication is big but I think your chemistry is big as well because you can count on each other talk about getting getting each other's back uh, just about every night well I mean we're all good friends and it really really helps having a good friendship yeah. with that because like I know that I know that Jacob I know that he's going to block his guy I know that Cole's going to help me block this guy I know that I can trust every single person I'm on the line with and that that really helps. Isn't a lot of that communication too with your guys in the backfield because you look at each other in the huddle and say here's what we've got to do and talk about that relationship with those guys. And, and like if a backer comes up I'll turn around to Cody to Reese to Pritchett and I'll say what am I picking this guy up? Are you picking this guy up? And because it always, it doesn't always work out how the playbook does, you know, yeah. I mean, this place is this guy's slanting this way. Now he's going that way. Do you got him or do I have him? And, and that really helps. We're just talking to everybody. So, yeah, this is a predominantly running football team, but you have thrown in the past from a, a standpoint of pass blocking or run protection, whatever you want to talk about. What do you like doing best of the two? Uh, I really like pass blocking. I think Jacob and I have got pass blocking down well. We're working on it with Norp and Freddie, and it's it's kind of a break. I mean, we went to that SOS camp over the summer, and it just it really helped. I mean, we learned so much, and pass blocking is just so much more fun now. You know, it's it's not a it's not a chore anymore. It's something we enjoy doing. So you know, I've been curious, uh, and I haven't talked to you about the nature of this program right now, from what it was to what it is right now, and. You guys are playing some good football, and now the expectation is to come out and win. How has all of this changed just from your standpoint of knowing that this is a good football program now? I think we really did change our mindset. I mean, my freshman year, there there wasn't good friendship is what I'd say. I mean, there wasn't there wasn't a team bonding thing. But now when we walk in the locker room, we all love each other. I mean, it, it, we're real brothers out there. And I think that we just all changed our mindset. I mean, we're going to be brothers. We're going to win together. If, when we, we all trust each other now, and we just play with the mindset of a champion because we know that we can trust everyone out on that field. Do you like the idea now that, and, and of course, you're going to play Northeastern. We'll talk about that in a moment. But the, the target's kind of on your guys' back. Hagerstown's out there as well. But that part has changed where now people say, well, Sanderville, we can beat them. But not anymore. Do you kind of like that idea? Uh, it, it's nice, but it's also nice being the surprise team. You know, it's nice coming out thinking, having that team think that this is a bad team because then we can shock them. But now that they know that we're good, it's nice too because they have something to be afraid of, you know. Is there a... Um when you think about a rivalry between Centerville and Northeastern, there's probably not a bigger rivalry. You know, Hagerstown could be thrown in there as well. What what does that mean for this week, and how special is it? It it's just there's always been hatred, I'd say, between us and uh, many other teams. I feel like we've kind of disbanded that hatred. It's more about you know sportsmanship, playing each other, playing the game. But every time we play Northeastern, they just hate us, and so we just want to beat them. You know, we it just makes for a fun week, though, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a tough week, but it's going to be a real fun week. And looking forward to the game. Yeah, two teams that run the football probably more than anybody. I know Hagerstown's up there as well, but I would say if you put two teams together, it's these two. What's going to be the difference in this one this Friday night? Just how hard we work, I'd say. I'd say making sure everybody make, gets their block, making sure everybody gets to the guy, and just how hard our running backs are going to hit that hole. I mean, it all comes down to who wants it more. You know, we haven't talked much about defense, though, and, and they run the ball well, you run the ball well, so you got to get some stops in there, don't you? Yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm really confident in our D-line. Like, I'm confident they're, gonna, they, they're great at building the wall. They're great at stopping everything that comes up in the middle, and our linebackers are great at stopping anything that escapes them. So I'm not too worried about our defensive aspect. They do a lot of that misdirection stuff, yeah. though. Does, does that concern you at all? No, I think if you run misdirection, you're just too nervous to really run it at them. I mean, that's why we run it at them, because we're not nervous. We're going to hit that hole. And we don't do misdirection. We 
we want them to know what's coming. So you go there. My last yeah. thing for you is you go there. I think it is homecoming for them. The crowd's going to be as wild as can possibly be. They're still the champions, and they're not willing to give that up. You looking forward to that fight? Yeah, it's going to be a great dog fight, and I really, I hope it's a great time. Great time. I mean, it's going to be a fight. But yeah, it's going to be a great fight.